Hello, fun people. I don't know about you, but I wish I could have had the chance to go to Rapunzel and Eugene's wedding. It was so massive, gorgeous, and even had souvenirs. Everything was perfect, just like I always dreamed it would be. But there was one question I had. If the day was truly perfect, where was Rapunzel's best friend, Cassandra? In Tangled the series, Cassandra was introduced as Rapunzel's lady-in-waiting, which meant she acted as a personal assistant and companion to a woman of royalty. And throughout the series, the two girls became very close. But if they became such great friends in the two years Rapunzel lived in Corona before getting married, then why isn't Cassandra present for one of the most important days of Rapunzel's life? Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and today I'm going to theorize on why Cassandra wasn't seen at Rapunzel's wedding. Trust me, I looked long and hard, and she just doesn't seem to be there. But if you'd like to try to find Cassandra or learn more about Tangled, I've provided all of the links to the movies and the resources I used in the description. And I'm always looking for more friends on YouTube, so to continue discussing Disney with me, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you have never seen Tangled the series, let me just quickly express how awesome Cassandra is. She is the adopted daughter of Corona's Captain of the Guards, with dreams of becoming a royal guard herself. As an aspiring guard, Cassandra is an extremely skilled fighter, making her not only Rapunzel's lady-in-waiting and closest confidant, but also, in many ways, Rapunzel's constant bodyguard. I do feel she is a bit too critical of Eugene at times, but she is only like that because she is normally determined to follow the rules and earn the respect of her father. The only time she is willing to break commands is to protect and help Rapunzel and Corona. And sure, I understand that Tangled Ever After, the short that features Rapunzel's wedding, released before Tangled the series, which means Cassandra just hadn't been created when Rapunzel's wedding was shown. But this channel is about the magic of Disney, which is why I'm going to search for a way more fun, in-canon, Disney-esque reason for her absence. Maybe Cassandra no longer serves Rapunzel and has instead chosen a life of adventuring the world. The problem with this idea is we have actually seen Cass ordered to leave Corona before. In the episode Secret of the Sundrop, Cassandra was ordered to stay at a convent as punishment for assisting Rapunzel's exploration of the world outside of Corona's walls. This order breaks her heart, as she has to leave her friends and her duty behind. There was a time in my life where I would have done anything, gone to any lengths to keep from disappointing you. The last thing I ever expected was for you to be the one to disappoint me. Cassandra is highly motivated and loyal. If something was going to rip her from the kingdom and friends she cared for, there would need to be an extremely good reason. Could it be love? In the episode Under Wraps, Cassandra goes undercover to stop a rebel from stealing one of Corona's most beloved relics, Erdizan's book. To get on the rebel Andrew's good side, Cass begins to date him. Although the relationship can't go too far since he is hoping for the destruction of Corona, at the end of the episode, Rapunzel learns Cassandra kept the rose Andrew gave her, showing she is open to finding love someday. What? Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm proud of you. I think it would be great if Cassandra would find love. I think Cass isn't opposed to love, but I don't think anyone who she loved would pull her away from what she has been longing for her whole life. Respect. In the episode Challenge of the Brave, Cassandra reveals her frustration with earning her worth under the shadow of Rapunzel. Whoa, whoa. Supposed to be friend. A friend wouldn't be so oblivious, Rapunzel. You have no idea what this contest means to me. To me, it was a chance to show everyone that I am more than just your lady in waiting. And just when I thought I might get even the slightest bit of respect. Maybe this quote hints at Cassandra's darker truth. As an adopted individual with black hair and green eyes, maybe, just maybe, she is the daughter of Mother Gothel. Whew. That's pretty heavy, Doc. 
Although when I initially heard this idea, I was super excited, especially since Mother Gothel appeared in one of Rapunzel's nightmares. The more I watched the show, the more I realized I think Cass could be Gothel's daughter, since she has no clue who her parents are. But I don't think this fact would make her evil, even if it was true. Cassandra's bond with Rapunzel may be strained at times, but nothing suggests she would ever betray her. Even after Rapunzel wins the challenge of the brave over Cass, Cassandra humbly states, Congratulations. I didn't mean for this to happen, Cass. I just thought it would be fun to compete. Doesn't matter. What, no harm? Cass is searching for respect and may be the daughter of one of the cruelest Disney villains of all time, but she is noble, forgiving, and a true friend to Rapunzel. I think the only way to discover where Cassandra was during Rapunzel's wedding is by accepting Cass's determination and loyalty to Corona and her friends will inevitably lead her to seize her dream and become a royal guard. Cassandra had been training for that opportunity her entire life, which is explained in the episode The Great Expotations. Dad, I've been training with the guard since I was six. I know castle procedures and protocol better than anyone, so if there's any other reason why you feel I'm not ready besides me being your daughter, I'm all ears. She has saved countless lives on the few guard duties she has been allowed to take, and has even received a medal for her actions in the episode Under Wraps. Here's Corona's hero. Everyone is talking about how you saved Air Dazon's book. Eh, I'm just glad to be back on my dad's good side. And to cap it all off, when her father was injured in a fight, he called upon Cassandra to lead an assault to save Queen Ariana in the episode Secret of the Sundrop. Cap, are you sure you're up for this? Actually, I don't think I am. I'll only slow you down. How are you gonna lead the assault? I'm not. She is. Dad, all I ever wanted was to be like you. I wanted to be a royal guard and serve my kingdom. Maybe what was going on during Rapunzel's wedding was that she was on a very important mission as captain of the guard. This would fit into Cass's dreams, but I don't think Cassandra would abandon her friend on her wedding day. Cassandra and Rapunzel have just been on too many adventures and became too close to put anything else above their friendship. If there was really something that was that threatening to Corona, the wedding probably wouldn't have even happened. When watching the wedding scene in the short Tangled Ever After, she isn't in the crowd. I think she is on duty as Captain of the Guard protecting her best friend and the entrance to the chapel with the rest of the guards in the back. Cassandra is a character I am ecstatic joined the wonderful Tangled the Series storyline. She kicks so much butt, and her loyalty and friendship is awesome to see grow, which is why I don't think she left Corona or turned evil. I think she achieved her dream of becoming Captain of the Guard, like her father before her, and on the day of Rapunzel's wedding, she watched over her best friend achieve her happy ending. If you enjoyed theorizing on what happened to Cassandra, then click that like button. And if you are interested in staying up to date with more Magical Tangled videos, then click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So now it's time for the question of the day sponsored by my patrons. Who is your favorite character in Tangled the series? For me, it's a difficult choice. We did down to Rapunzel, Varian, and Pascal. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you'd like to see more Watso videos, then check out some awesome pics over here. And as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.